Oh, hi. Good morning, Eric Bollard. How are you? Good morning. Okay. How are you? Uh, well, you know what? Murder Hornets, and uh, <laughs> you could not get here quick enough for me this weekend. <laughs> um, Yeah, is this not... Do you just feel like, I don't know, acid flashbacks mixed with acid reflux? Mm. <laughs> um, I'd save this tweet for you, uh, Daniel tweeted to you, uh, Eric, it looks like Donald Trump might actually be right. The New York Times can't survive without him. How else do you explain putting bogus stories about Biden on the front page and a demand of his private papers from the editorial board? Oh, my God, Eric, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, I tweeted last night, I, you know, I wrote about the Times' Biden coverage before, you know, about a week or so ago before the Tara Reid story really took off. Uh, and I was, I was contrasting, you know, at that point, Trump had, um, you know, 60,000 uh, coronavirus deaths, 26 million lost jobs. Right. And the New York Times looks at that and says, boy, Joe Biden's in big trouble. Yes. Uh, and, and so by my casual count, the last eight front page stories the New York Times has written about Joe Biden has been an, uh, under the Dems and Disarray umbrella. Mm -hmm. And I think they've now done three uh, on the Tara Reid story. And I have a, I have a new column up this morning at, at pressrun.media, and it's about how the press wants to say this is just like Kavanaugh, right? So if you disbelieve Kavanaugh, uh, then how, how, how can you believe Biden? And as I point out, they're not the same because Kavanaugh lied about everything. Yeah. <laughs> when that controversy came up, he lied about the timeline, witnesses, corroboration, the state's drinking age, Yale, his drinking binges. He lied about everything mm -hmm. during that confirmation hearing. The press looks at that and says, well, this is just like Joe Biden. Yeah. I mean, say whatever you want about this case. There has not, not been a single piece of evidence that Joe Biden has lied, altered, changed a single fact about his telling of the story. And he's he's throwing open the archives. Whereas you remember with Kavanaugh, White House told FBI, hey, 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 you can you can investigate this, but you can't. You can't interview any witnesses. You can't do anything. This investigation is going to be a joke. But the press is so desperate to tag you know, Biden as Democrats, as hypocrites, as hypocrites for me, too. They're pretending Kavanaugh and Biden are the same. They're not. One of them was a pathological liar when it came to a claim of sexual assault. And the other is, is being straightforward on this. So I mean, far. not to mention that not only did he obviously categorically deny, but he said, open up the yes, like look, yeah, up the, exactly. you know, look for any. And then and then she's like, oh, oh, yeah, I just realized that whatever I, I didn't accuse him of sexual harassment or assault in whatever they're going to find like I, I and you know she nego is negotiating with fox for an interview and then that didn't happen after biden spoke it's just the whole th i mean it's just has i'm sorry eric well and, to and high the point for me, for me to, the, from day you know, from the, point, the get right. the point for me is always the press coverage so you know the end of last week was biden has to address this in person biden has to address this in person and washington post had an editorial right on, on thursday i think yeah uh biden has to uh, address this so he does What's the press do? Oh, he did it all wrong. Well, it was, you know, now he has to do this. Now he has to go to University of Delaware. Now he has to open yeah. the archives. Well, if you open the archives. So the press is not, as I pointed out, and, and you know, there's no one covering this story within the D.C. campaign press who thinks they're going to uncover, quote, the truth. Nobody, nobody thinks there's going to be an aha moment where everyone agrees X or Y happened. So it's become a process story for them. It's become an optics story for them. It's become a Dems and disarray story for them. Yeah. And it's become a move the goalpost for them. So Washington Post, Biden has to address this. He does. New York Times the next day, DNC needs to set up like this 9-11 commission or something oh, God. to, to, to I, investigate I mean, everything. In the midst of this pandemic this time, though, Eric, it is just confounding that you're like, this right. was following the exact trajectory of the email story. It's like right. she, he will not be able to do enough, and in the end, right. it's going to come to nothing. Just like the right, the email story. It, it, but like, as we were saying, the timing of going through all his papers means he'll still be under investigation during yeah. the election, right? I mean, it, it's yeah. Um, couple things. And by the way, things. you said you tweeted yeah. about the ABC reporter. You said for those oh, who geez. missed uh, last night because her tweets are now deleted, ABC reporter on the Reed beat published an accusatory headline about a new claim versus Biden from a 2008 event. Tweets into the uh, three th tweets into the thread. She confirmed confirmed Biden was not at the event. I mean, this is what it's going to be like, right? That was a, that was a real window into this, right? ABC thought they had the scoop. Uh, they thought they had someone coming forward and saying, you know, uh, Biden harassed this young girl in a 2008 event. 
So that was their headline. What they had also found out during their reporting was that Biden wasn't at the event. How is that not the headline? Right. You yeah. Know? Or how do you Biden, report anything in the first place when you find? Isn't that the first thing you? Right. Okay. Why even report it at that yeah. point? Yeah. Why? But if you're going to report it, it's Biden accused of harassment at an event he did not attend. I mean, that's the headline. But it goes back to the larger. And again, for me, it's always like, how is the press covering this? It's always about moving the goalposts. It's always about optics. You have to understand, you know, for these large news organizations, they have allotted and scheduled a ton of time and resources to cover the 2020 campaign. Because of the campaign de- pandemic, there essentially is no campaign. What are they going to do with all these resources? They've got to, they've got to send them out to do a story. Yeah. This is a perfect story for them. It's process, it's optics, it's Dems in disarray. So, yeah. and, and move the goalposts uh, and things like that. And then they, they get to the point where, oh, this is just like Kavanaugh. Democrats are hypocrites uh, and, and things yeah, like that. I mean- so, it, so a lot of it does reflect the email stuff. Well, and the two, uh, as you always say, the two uh, standards, you tweeted, oh, reminder, as calls go for Biden's Senate, University of Delaware documents from decades ago, Trump White House ignored every subpoena document request during uh, uh, impeachment. Not just that, <clears throat> taxes, every, of the 20 credible sexual assault, you know, claims, including a request for his DNA from E. Jean right. Carroll. I mean, it is, it's insane. I mean, I think you also talked about just his behavior. You said in terms of, even this, the coverage of this carnage we're in, this mass coronavirus carnage, you said, I feel right. we're, we're going uh, we're going to settle into a muddled normal where constant COVID deaths are deemed acceptable. We're, yeah. you know, we're just pretending that somehow, you know, 70,000 deaths today is, yeah, you know, well, this is just yeah. the, the, new, the new normal, like Trump tweeting, you know, the stupid insults every day, every, right. every day, right? Right. So this is, um, uh, in terms of the pandemic, I mean, Trump last night gave that bizarre, you know, town hall on Fox News where he's supposed to be answering questions about the reopening yeah. of the country. And he's saying how uh, he was treated worse than Abe Lincoln, who ah. it was like a bad joke, which is like a bad joke. But anyway, in terms of the pandemic and, and, and the press, uh, yeah, it is kind of amazing to look at the what's happening you know, 100,000 deaths, 30, 40 million lost jobs and say, hey, what's really important is the University of Delaware archives. Let's really because, again, they've got to do both. Yeah. Right. So if they're going to cover uh, the pandemic, that's a Trump story. They have to have a Democrat story. Yeah. And they have. to. And, and let's face it, if you're in the news business, uh, you want to keep a close race. You want to keep interest. Yeah. They're not going to write stories. I mean, yeah. just a small example. Uh, you know, uh, Trump won uh, the senior vote in Florida in 2016 by 17 points. He is now trailing in Florida among the seniors by 10 points. If Joe Biden, any Democratic nominee, were trailing by 10 points in a demo that Hillary Clinton had won by 17 points, that would literally be the only campaign story. Like, front page, every day. That is a massive swing. If Trump can't carry Florida, there is no election. Yeah. But that's not that's not the narrative they want. They want this to be Biden's in trouble. Biden's unraveling. This is going to be close in November. Stay tuned, folks. This is going to be a great show. Yeah. That's oh, what they yeah, want. Yeah. yeah. I just this time, I you know, it's it, OK. It's quick not point. it's it, not it, it's it, like life and death. It, it is it life is. and death. Yeah. And but also it, but a quick and a, and a quick point. This is exactly what they did in 2016 with Hillary. Oh, Trump might win. Trump might win. It's going to be close. Stay, you know, stay tuned, folks. And it turns out they went so far over compensating. Yeah. They gave him the victory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and by the way, you also just quick side note on uh, Kelly. Kelly. Um, you said not one reporter asked the new White House press secretary why she went on Fox News in February and said coronavirus will not come here to the U.S. Her direct quote, we will not see diseases like coronavirus come here. We will not see terrorism come here. Yeah, and isn't it refreshing when contrasting it with the awful presidency of President Obama? Yeah, not one person. Um, no. Yeah, asked her about no, that. But, they, but, you know, so she had the first press briefing uh, in a year at the White House. They haven't had a White House press briefing in a year. 
Uh, all the reporters were very nice. Thank you for showing up. Oh, we appreciate you being here. We we appreciate think, the softer tone of your makeup as opposed to... And, so. and, and she got glowing, you know, she basically got glowing reviews. Washington Post had a nice write-up. Oh, she was, you know, she wasn't combative. First thing you she know. said is, I'll never lie to you, and then and, followed it by a string lie. of lies, of course. And then yes. she goes into this rabbit hole about a deep state and, and, and Flynn and talking about all this nonsense. It, it was a disaster. They're so happy she showed up, though. Yeah, huh? they don't want to. They don't want to hold it responsible. Our new normal and uh, murder yeah. hornets next. Film yeah. at eleven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Eric. All okay. right. Have a good uh, week. You too. You too.